In this video of .NET Framework, we are going to cover another very important concept that is the garbage collection. As in the previous video itself, we have noticed like garbage collection is one of the part of your common language runtime which will allocate and deallocate the memory at the runtime. And due to this very feature of garbage collection, the life of a developer is easier. As a developer can only focus on a particular task which he needs to do for a particular application but all the memory allocation and deallocation logics will be happened implicitly at the background and that all thanks to the garbage collection itself. So let's see about the allocating a memory like how the garbage collection manages to store the data by allocating the memory at runtime. So basically what happens whenever you create an object at runtime all that data got stored in a memory allocation which we call the managed heap. Whenever one data is stored in a managed heap it will take a pointer to the next location which would be adjacent to this and where the next incoming object would be stored. So if you will start traversing in the heap you can get all the data linked to each other internally. So suppose you are working with any particular data type or oh, sorry if you are working with any particular language and creating some objects that may be of reference types so all that particular data will get stored in that managed heap itself and all the data all the objects which you are storing in managed heap the retrieval and the allocation in the managed heap is faster which will also improve the performance of your application at runtime. Why it is faster? Because as I said it will keep a pointer so whenever you will add an object it will be stored at a particular pointer location and accessing the data through a particular pointer is always faster. So this is how the memory allocation by this garbage collection can be done at runtime. Now let's talk about how the deallocation will work. So for deallocation the garbage collection after a particular interval of time keeps on doing the collection. In that particular collection it actually releases that particular part of memory which is not being used from last few moments. So uh, on that particular basis the garbage collection can remove the unused older objects from the managed heap. And starting for that particular part we have a root which will start pointing from the first element of the managed heap. So either that root would be set to null or would be pointing to the any particular object which is there in the managed heap. Now once it is done since in the previous slide we have noticed like all the data in the heap is linked with each other through a pointer. So this garbage collection can access the list of all the active roots. Active root means during the collection all that data which is not being removed because obviously uh, at the time of collection garbage collection will remove all the unused objects. So since all the data in the heap is being linked through a pointer and that can be accessed as a list by this garbage collection. So it can access all the active routes which is being created and managed by JIT and the runtime environment. For unmanaged code, it is all about the managed code. For unmanaged code, you have to remove the memory explicitly and for that we have something called a dispose method which every such object would be having and you need to call that method in order to remove the data from the heap. So this is how your programming can be easier because of this garbage collection concept of your CLR in .NET Framework. 